So now let's look at a different type of problem with these IQ scores. What IQ score corresponds to the 90th percentile? So what we're saying is we want an IQ score over here that has 90% of the scores that are equal to or less than that value. So what's the probability that we're going to get an X value that's really, and remember with continuous random variables, it doesn't matter if we use less than or less than or equal to. What's, we want the probability that X is equal to some value. We don't know what it is. We want that to be 0.9. Well, this is a different type of problem. This is sort of backwards from what we were doing last time. So what do we do? Well, this really is just like when we were kind of working backwards with percentiles before for z-scores. We're going to want to use I and V norm. So before, what we had done is we'd taken our x values, converted them into questions about z-scores, and we were happy because we got a probability. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to take something with z-scores and convert it back into something with our x values and find an IQ score that corresponds to the 90th percentile. So let's start off over here and try and figure out what we would do with the standard normal distribution. Here, the real question that we would have is what z-score corresponded to the 90th percentile. And we did that in the example that we had for I and V norm. What we said was we used I, the z-score, would equal I and V norm. And you want an area to the left, but a percentile does give you an area to the left. I and V norm of 0.9. And when you plug that into your calculator, you'll see that that's 1.28. So what we're saying again is that the z-score of 1.28 corresponds to having 90% of your population with z-scores that were less than 1.28. And the formula that we used for converting our x values to z-scores was z equals x minus mu over sigma. But if you just do a little bit of algebra on this, you would see by multiplying both sides by sigma, then adding mu to both sides, that x is really the same as z sigma plus mu. So we can use this formula written this way to convert this information into something about IQ scores that will answer our question. So, just plugging in, we have that the IQ score, our X, is equal to our Z value, 1.28, times our sigma, which is 15, plus the mean, which we said was 100. And you just grab your calculator, and you plug that in, and you get 1.28 times 15, plus 100, so an IQ score of 119.2 would be the 90th percentile.